So I heard that about this Fibonacci equation that you can use to take a square like this and cut it up into different pieces and then you can reassemble those pieces and make a rectangle with an extra square unit area. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. that doesn't sound like it. Cut the third line straight across. A diagonal from this corner all the way to this corner. One more diagonal from this third one and the third one at the bottom. Now it's all up to you. <laughs> Distance is 13 here. Because it's 8 by 8, so that's a 64, what we originally started off with. Right. And this one's 13 by 5, which means it should be 65. That's what I'm saying. Total gap there, when put together, if you trig it out or whatever, then it would be for one square inch. Yeah. So here's what's going on the Fibonacci numbers, each of them the sum of the previous two. When you take these Fibonacci numbers and multiply them by themselves, you get these squares. When you take the neighbors, you get these rectangles. Now notice that these squares are one less than the rectangles. So when you cut up the squares to make the rectangles, you're going to have a gap of one in the rectangle regardless. Yeah, we proved that. Yeah, okay. that's so exactly what we have happened. That's exactly what we proved, right?